Hey guys and gals, A here. Welcome to another episode of EDCQ. So today I have a pocket dump for you. Want to know what I've carried for this past week? See some new items into the rotation and learn my thoughts on them? Come on back because here we go! All right, guys and gals. So uh, we'll start off with the armbands as per usual for a pocket dump. Still rocking the camo uh, Casio G-Shock and the Fitbit Sense 2. Um, I've spoken before on my fitness trackers. I like having them, but still like having an analog watch with me. And uh, I am actually uh, getting close to wanting to transition to an Apple Watch. We'll see how long I can hold out before I do, but I kind of bounce back and forth between Apple Watch and Fitbit and uh, had this one for um, coming up on the year mark, I believe, and that's kind of when I get the itch to switch watches. So we'll see how long the Fitbit Sense, Sense 2 hangs around before I switch it up. And then normally I jump right into the pockets and show you what I've carried there. But this time we will go to belt pouches because I've actually, actually rotated back in a belt pouch. And I don't know that I've ever actually carried this one as a belt pouch, um, but here we are. So this is a Maxpedition pouch, if I can speak. And I put one of these Molly belt clips on it. Uh, and so it, it just attaches right there, slides into the molly, and then you, um, you screw it in, you uh, screw it together, and then you've got a belt loop right there, which I know is hard to see because my shirt's black. But you have a nice little belt loop that you can slide on over your belt or clip to your, your waistband. And I believe this is the barnacle. Uh, it has one main zipper compartment that opens up um, fairly wide. And then it has one little Velcro compartment in the front. I just carry like the normal stuff I do in a belt pouch. Uh, up front here, I have two wet ones. So quick access to a wet wipe those always come in handy. And then, so this unzips like that and it opens accordion style. So easily open, easily accessible. Uh, one side I have a little Purell hand sanitizer. I have the credit card size notebook from Right in the Rain. And then I have this little zippered pouch right here. That's a, a boo-boo kit. It's got some um, Benadryl, some Band-Aids, an alcohol wipe, a goodies powder in case there's a headache. And then the other side, uh, sitting down in the bottom, I have a cinnamon flavored Listerine breath strip. And I put the cinnamon in there because I don't often carry it in my pocket. So give me a different um, flavor. And if I run out, I have them. And then in this back sleeve, I have an Olight i3T. I have an F301 Compact by Zebra. And then I have a Wii knife in there. So one side, of the, one side over here is just like a dump pouch. And then this side, actually has a little sleeve here and a little sleeve there. So one side is empty, one side has two sleeves, and I just put all my gear in there. As you can tell, I have tons and tons of room to add more stuff. And uh, I just, you know, zip that up, pop it right here on my waist, and then I have all those contents with me. So if for some reason my pockets are empty, I am ready to rock and roll with that now into the pockets and so we'll start off with sorry about that guys i stood up on my mic cord <laughs> um but uh inside of, of my pocket here i do have that fixed blade rocking right here and that is still the vero engineering um the axon and that is inside of a joe fu leather sheath and that works excellent for front pocket carry this has literally been in my front pocket every day since I got it, unless I took it out to try a different knife, because I've got other fixed blades I purchased at Blade Show, and I want to review those as well. But um, to do that, I need to carry them. And so I have occasionally, for periods throughout the day, switched them out or carried another knife 
uh, in the morning. And then once I feel I've used it a few times, I'll switch back to this one. So this has definitely been the favorite, but I've got some other awesome knives and um, you'll see those drop in here soon. Um, hopefully over the next few weeks, I can give you several fixed blade um, uh, videos. And I actually have two Listerine uh, strip pouches. I'm running low on those. Got some coinage as per usual and a tiny, tiny D20. And that is for entertainment purposes. Now, since I've been carrying a fixed blade, I've been using this as my main blade and the, the blade I go to most often, um, pretty much all the time. It's amazing how having it right here and being able to remove it, cut and slide it right back in, how the ease of use of this causes me, someone who has pocket carried a knife for two thirds, three quarters of my life, how much more I'm actually using a knife just because it's front pocket carried and easy access and the blade is ready to go as soon as I grab it. So I am shocked at how much I'm using a front pocket fixed blade. And so because I've been doing that, I have not been carrying um, a secondary uh, folder on me. Granted, I do have one in, in the pouch if I need it, but I'm not carrying you know, a, a folder knife. And so I've actually switched to carrying the Leatherman Skeletool. And this setup right here is absolutely incredible. Ease of use, quick grab, um, just so easy, so easy to use. It just has to fit in your pocket. But that, and then throwing this in the mix, I have a screwdriver ready to rock and roll. I have the pliers here. And then if for whatever reason, I don't wanna use my fixed blade knife because of where I'm at or what's going on, there's an excellent knife right there ready to rock and roll. And so this might be my new favorite setup. It's absolutely incredible, works so well together. And so that this has been in my rotation. I have a few Skeletools hanging up behind me and I've just um, kind of defaulted towards the CX, mainly because of the blade. No serrations, excellence. Uh, it's a 154 CM steel. Obviously tons of better steels out there, but this is better than the other Leatherman steels uh, on the Skeletool in my opinion. And then my uh, Mini Bic still works. <clears throat> so those are just kind of hanging out here in my leg pocket. And then uh, inside of my zipper compartment on these shorts, I just have one thing. That is the Olite uh, i3T, excellent little uh, light, and actually the same one in here. Um, so I might switch that up just so I'm not redundant, but the Olite 3T fit here works well, and I would rather have it in there and kind of rotate the flashlight on person than put like a smaller keychain light in here and end up forgetting a flashlight and having that. So sometimes I'm gonna sync up and I will have Olite 3, i3T with one in my pocket, but majority of the time I'm gonna be rotating through flashlights, so it is what it is. Now I have been pocket carrying a um, fix uh, folder for the last few days now, three or four, and it's only because I picked one up. I went to an event over the weekend and I'll be doing a video on what I got there, um, but preview, Benchmade Mini Claymore. I snagged one of these at this event and that is an auto and it is awesome. So I have been pocket carrying this only because it's new. Um, we'll see how often I do. Maybe, maybe I'll be a three knife person, one folder, one fixed, one multi-tool, who knows? But I uh, really like that knife, really like the fixed blade, really like the Leatherman Skeletool. They all kind of work together perfectly for me. Uh, in my right pocket, my right back pocket, I have some uh, cash. I have a hank, and this is not one of the fancy, cool looking hanks. This is an actual cotton hank, because the little one, my three-year-old, uh, has a cold. So that has been getting way more use than I thought it would. Got some business cards in my front pocket, my hand pocket on the left side. And then the zipper compartment on my left side has my new earbuds, which are the AirPods Pro second gen. So I, I, I'm in the Apple ecosystem, everything works well together. And uh, I don't know why I wasn't getting the pros. Like I, I had an old set of pros and I lost an earbud and I guess it was just, you know, 
such a hit to the wallet that I wanted to go another route. And um, I picked these up because of the noise cancellation properties, as well as the ability to listen. Um, you know, you can have one or the other. You can, you can have the um, ambient noise coming through, or you can like shut it off and have noise cancellation. And I'm really sad I didn't get those sooner. They are, if you're in the Apple ecosystem, AirPods Pro, AirPod Pros are pricey, but in my opinion, they're worth it. You get, you get what you pay for. And they're slim. That case is so small, so slim. And I use the, um, the MagSafe chargers for my iPhone that I film on, and this thing pops right onto those. So I can, you know, just toss my, um, well not toss, set my AirPods onto that and charge them you know that easy so it works great in my system that I have to charge my phone I can charge these the same way and yeah I'm sad I didn't go to it sooner they're slim they're way more pocket friendly than the pixel buds which were one of the most pocket friendly ones I had found these are better so they check all the boxes for me and I've had them about two weeks now so a little bit of time to play with them I'll definitely talk about them more as we go on but that is my carry guys so i hope you enjoyed the video what have you carried this past week let me know and uh i will never ask you to like or subscribe you do you but comment below talk to me tell me what you think on this what you've been carrying um have you joined the front pocket fixed blade game and if not why um but yeah thanks for watching thanks for hanging out and i will have some new content soon stay tuned and remember edc EDC.